Here we go, lined up, and away they go, racing over a mile and a half here. Grand Alliance a little bit tardily into stride. He's recovering now, and Secret State is in no hurry either. He's alongside Grand Alliance, has been dropped out. Walk of Stars and Acal are the two disputing the early running. Acal, in fact, and Ryan Moore just ahead now on the rail of Walk of Stars. Deauville Legend is tracking them in the white jacket in third. El Bodigon in the green and black is racing in fourth place ahead of Grand Alliance. And Secret State dropped out today. Normally races pretty handily. He's just taking a little bit of a tug at the back there for William Buick, the favourite, but he's about six lengths off the speed as the runners head across towards the mile start over on the far side of the Knavesmire. Acal the leader, striding out by a couple of lengths or so in front of the white cap of Walk of Stars. Deauville Legend and Danny Muscat in the white and red colours tracking. And then follows on the inside Grand Alliance on the outside El Bodigon with Secret State in last place, but still about to five lengths off the speed as they head down now towards the left-hand turn over on the far side and approaching the halfway point in the sky bet, great voltager. Four of these in the ledger, two of them are geldings, they can't run in it sadly, but at this stage, Acal is the leader. He's in the, the, the season's final classic and leads by two lengths then as they come to the final five furlongs. Walk of Stars and Deauville Legend, the two Geldings in second and third. El Bodigon next with Grand Alliance and Secret State still poised at the back. And you suspect that this is going to change quite quickly down the home straight. They've got just over half a mile left to cover here in the Great Voltager. And Ryan Moore has, has dictated the affair so far on ACAL. Now squeezed along is Walk of Stars and El Bodigon is looming up on the outside as well. And behind them, Doville Legend is travelling very smoothly into the race, being kept in there, though, by Secret State. They're old rivals, these two. And then comes Grand Alliance, who's outpaced. El Bodigon making his bid for glory then as they approach the final two furlongs. Doville Legend is out after him. On the outside is Secret State. Acal is well held today. They race inside the final furlong and a half. Doville Legend strikes the front from El Bodigon as they race inside the final 150 yards. And Danny Musket looks across and sees he's going further clear on Doval Ledger. What a likeable horse he is. And he's going to take the great voltager for the James Ferguson team as Secret State runs on for second. And back in third place, El Bodigon with Walk of Stars next. Yes, and he'll be delighted with what Doval Legend managed to do there by winning the Group 2 Great Voltager. You gave him a confident ride. Were you feeling the way you were looking all the way around? Yeah, um, he's, he's a horse that I've got a lot of belief in. I was... Um, when we saw the and final the field, we, the first thing James and I said to each other was we were, we were very much looking forward to having another crack at Charlie's horse after Ascot. Um, this horse has done nothing but improve each, each start. I thought Goodwood was, a, was probably a career best so far, and I think he's he felt like he's taken a step forward again today. And probably the nature of the track, he's, he's enjoyed that. He's a smooth traveller and he's got gears to, gears to burn. And um, the only moment, kind of concern I had was when we turned in and Ryan stuck to the fence. Just had to wait, let the race develop, and, and just edge out and find him a bit of, bit of room to manoeuvre. And he got to um, got to El Bodigon's girths and and um, filled himself with air. And, and just almost just a matter of time to kick him in the belly and see what he finds. And I was half expecting Will to come with me and give me a bit of a fight, but he's, he's dropped gear and galloped on really, really well. So it's good. He's a tremendous horse, as you say, progressing all the time, and now potentially with the Melbourne Cup as his target. Do you think he'd like something like that? Uh, I don't see why not. He's a very He's a very professional horse now, and he's thrived off. Uh, he's had a quite a hard campaign already this year, and he's, he's, he's shown his constitution well, so that would bode well to go down there. Um, obviously, Connections have, have plenty of horses there and, and, and in Hong Kong, so um, that, that might be where his, his future lies. But um, no, hopefully, we can, hopefully we can have him for, for as long as we can, and no, the team have done a great job with him. He's obviously a very important horse in James Ferguson's upwardly mobile career. How about for you? I mean, it, is, it must have been a great thrill to be partnering him this season. Yeah, massive. We, we liked him a lot um, from the minute he came in the yard last year. And um, to be fair, it's, it's, um, it's just uh, I'm very grateful to, to firstly James, Mark Mustay and the owner, um, Mr. Bonho, for, for just keeping me on the horse. And um, it's nice to, to, to um, repay them with some, some decent winners. It's great, great for me. Yeah, you keep delivering, don't you? Yeah, well, you, you have to have the horse. So it's nice when you do get the horse, you can show them you can do it. Well, many congratulations, Danny. Well done. Thank you very much. Cheers. Thank you.
Well, it was almost a one-two in the Great Voltageur for James Ferguson with Deauville legend and El Bodegon. In the end, El Bodegon ran a really good third. We'll hear about him in a moment, but let's concentrate on the winner, Deauville legend. A fantastic, really smooth performance there. Very smooth, a wonderful ride uh, from Dan. Um, you know, he has genuinely improved from run to run to run. He, you know, he hasn't had light, shorter runs this year. You know, we, 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 we felt, you know, he's come out of each race so well. You know, the team at home have done a wonderful job and with the permission of Bonho, we've been allowed to run him here today and I think that's teed him up very, very, very nicely for a, for a trip down to Australia. Yes, absolutely. And have you seen him improve physically as well at home? Absolutely. You know, he's, um, he's strengthened up with age, as they all do from two to three. Um, but no, it's, we're, we're just great, great, very grateful. The team at home have done a wonderful job and you know, we're just honoured to train um, such lovely horses. What's the timetable now with him going to Australia for the Melbourne Cup? So um, he'll probably go into quarantine mid-September and aim to be in, uh, in Australia beginning of October um, in time for the Melbourne Cup on the 1st of November. But obviously that will have to be discussed with the owner beforehand. I'm assuming there's no chance to get a prep over in Australia. It will be straight into the Melbourne Cup. Um, I, think I, I think I'll go straight there, but um, yet, like I said, yet to be decided. OK. And in terms of the race itself, do you think he's going to be suited by it? Absolutely. You know, I, th I think he's made it very clear to everyone that he stays very well. Um, and in the Melbourne Cup, you need a lot of speed. And, um, you know, Danny needed a lot of speed there, and he certainly showed it. And what happens beyond that, do you know? Uh, yet to be discussed. <laughs> but he could very likely be staying down there. Okay. Okay. But you, for you, this must have been such an important horse. I mean, your career is on a fast upward trajectory, and to have a horse like this is the kind of horse you need. Absolutely. You know, I'm very grateful to the owners. You know, he's a, he's been a loyal supporter of mine. Um, you know, and and the plan we are. You know, the plan is we. He's an international owner, and we ensure my my job is effectively to send them down fit and ready uh, for him to enjoy in Australia and Hong Kong. Um, which I thoroughly enjoy doing and I'm very grateful for. Um, but you can understand why they do it, considering how much prize money there is down there. Yeah. Absolutely. We mustn't forget El Bodegon, your first Group 1 winner as a two-year-old last season and has been running consistently well this season. What did you make of his third there? He's an absolute superstar. You know, he's everywhere he's gone this season, um, he's been underrated. Uh, maybe it's because he hasn't necessarily been running in this country. Um, I thought Holly gave him a lovely ride. Um, and, you know, I think... That his, his effort warrants the run in the race. Um, you know, he's actually won more prize money running over than all of the other runners in the race put together. Um, so he's been a wonderful horse for the yard. Different type of profile of horse. He's been a good horse from day one. You know, winning a group one as a two-year-old. And uh, I'm thoroughly looking forward to seeing what he does down in Australia. And he is to stay there. Right, and, and next stop for Australia for him as well? Absolutely. You know, he's owned, he's owned by a lovely group of Australian owners who have been so kind to me. They were actually my first owners in the yard. And very similar situation, you know, my job that I thoroughly enjoy doing is to, is to get these horses down to Australia in, in tip-top fit condition. They're going to leave a hole a little bit in the yard, though, aren't they? Have you got some new ones to be taking over? We're very lucky. We've got a lot of support from a lot of lovely owners. That's, that's really good to hear. I think you've also got some news about changing yards. Are you moving premises, is that right? So, uh, yes, we're moving into Kremlin Cottage Stables. Uh, Hugo Palmer is uh, kindly letting us train from there. Um, we're thoroughly looking forward to it. It's a step up, um, and, uh, you know, we're ready for that step up. And um, he had a lot of success there, and we're just hoping to continue that success from the yard. You understand why that's a step up. For everybody at home, is, is it more boxes? What is it? There's a lar much larger number of boxes. Um, and, um, you know, we're, we're hoping, like I said, um, we're hoping to be able to attract, attract people to, to send horses to me and my wonderful team, um, that we can fill those boxes and, uh, you know, enjoy, enjoy more winners and success. So the string, your string numbers now, what and what would you be hoping to move to? Uh, listen, it's, this is a, it's a test match, it's not a one day. <laughs> we have about 15, 50 horses in the yard at the moment and I'm not expecting that to double overnight. But, um, you know, we've certainly got the ability to do it now. Yeah, I think you've just advertised your talents and all season as well. James, many congratulations. Well done. Thank you. I really appreciate it. Thank Bye you. now.